Hey guys, this is Marcus from Church. I just want to show you uh, just quickly how we set up our Keys 2 stations here. Um, so you'll come in on a Saturday after your, your prayer and Devo, um, and your computer will just look like this. Computer will be here, your cables will be out. If the computer's not here, talk to your oversight, whether that be Megan, uh, Matt, or Sophia, myself, and we'll get the computer out there for you. Um, so first, just all the cables that are here, it should be plugged in, so that's the power cable. Uh, a USB cable, a black one, and a white Thunderbolt cable. If they're not right here, they might be somewhere back here. You might have to do some digging for it. I don't expect it ever being down there, though. Um, so after those are plugged in, you're going to turn on your Furman power conditioner, which is just the red, the red switch under here um, that I'm sure all of you have seen. If not, it's a big red switch that's underneath that key station. So after that's on, um, I normally turn on the keyboard. So you turn on the Capsia right here. Turn on the S90 back here, and turn on the organ right there. So now all your keyboards are on, so next you have to turn on the laptop. Um, so I already have it on. So I log in. Um, if you do not know the password, talk to whoever your oversight is again. Um, actually talk to either myself or Matt um, right now, and we'll get you that password. So you'll, you'll have it open up. Uh, what you'll do first is open up main stage. Uh, which will be right there at the bottom at your top. So main stage will open up. And we'll load the concert for you. So this is another thing. Just in case the wrong concert opens, um, let's say we want to open August 9th and 10th. Uh, so we'll use that right now. And Lauren, you can come a little bit closer if you want to. So load up, and I'll be good to go. So there you go, it loads. Um, and so we want the 9th and 10th, so this is the wrong week. This is 16th and 17th. So what you want to do is go to Finder, and go to Main Stage, Redeemer Worship Weekend, 2014, August. Um, I guess the last one was August 6th, not August 9th. Uh, so that's when we'll open. Also, um, you could also go to Google Drive, uh, Public Resources. There will be another video about this, and then give it to a campus weekend and do the same thing. But I'm going to go through a main stage right now, uh, just because. So here we go, August 6th and Master. You can close this one. If it asks to save it, you don't need to save it because you didn't make any changes. And you're going to open up your right weekend. So there you go. So this is, um, this is actually a Frederick campus uh, template, but it's still the same thing. Um, so here, if your keyboards are not assigned and your audio interface is not assigned, first you're going to do command comma, change your audio output to Motu 828X. If you're in Frederick, you should have the exact same uh, interface up, Motu 828X. If you're on Keys 1, it will say Apogee Duet or Duet um, in Gaither's Word. So here we go. So now all our sound, you can test it just right from the meters down here. If there's sound there, there should be sound going to the soundboard. Uh, next, you want to assign your keyboards to make sure that they play right. So you go to layout, click the top keyboard, click assign, press anything up there, and then same with the bottom keyboard. And at least for here, since there's no midweek on the, or there's no module on the Casio, I use the module for both keyboards. Um, so I'll assign that here, and I'll assign it again up here. So the module will assign for both of the keys. Um, then you also want to assign the sustain pedal right there. And again for this one right here. Um, and then also your, your patch changes to this controller that's back here. Um, so this is next patch. This is previous patch. Click is all the way over here. Panic is all the way over here. What panic does is it stops all the MIDI signal so that everything will stop just in case something freezes. It's very useful. Um, there you go. Another thing is if your sustain pedal is not assigned, like if you play it and nothing happens like that, um, you can see how the sound just goes right down. Um, you'll have to re uh, uh, What you'll do is you go to the concert level, uh, click the sustain pedal, and you want to go to your mapping, sustain. You want to make sure it's on keys two, and then again, 64 sustain. And the same for down here, and make sure that it's on pads. And 64. If one of these are wrong, then it will mess up the entire thing. So now, if the patch is made to sustain, then it should sustain. 
If not, then it won't. Like this one isn't made to sustain, but for pads and everything, they'll still sustain afterwards. Um, lastly, the last thing is um, you want to make sure that you're getting all of your your sounds going through the different channels. So here in Gaithersburg on midweeks and weekends, we have our keys two running down keys out, our click running down click out, and our pad running down pads out. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, so right here, Euphoria, Synth Strings, um, or it might be called Matt's Cutoff Pad, same thing. You wanna make sure you hold down Output. Um, say it's on Keys Out, that's wrong. It'll run down the same channel and your sound guy will tell you that. Um, so you wanna make sure that you change this to Pads Out. Also, if there's anything in these buses, it will also send the keys out, so make sure that these are all cleared out. Click, you wanna run down Click slash Loop Out. So you click that, and you also want to make sure that it's panned to the left. It's panned to the left because on the right is channel 4, which is loop. So if we're ever running any loops, they'll run down um, key slash loop out, but they'll be panned to the right uh, instead of the left. So that is pretty much it for keys 2. Um, if you have any additional questions, you can email me at msmith at church-redeemer.org. Have a great week.